All right. So let's take a look at uh, uh, section 3.1 now. All right, and this is where we're going to start to really just kind of introduce the derivative and start using the derivative. Um, so first and foremost, uh, we have a function up here in number 18, uh, which says f of x equals 3x squared minus 4x. And we want to find the slope of a line tangent to this function at point P. And we want to determine the equation of the tangent line at point P. So let's start with, uh, let's start with uh, a part A here. Okay. Um, so first of all, the, the tangent line is, is always going to have a slope uh, associated with it. Um, and in this case, we can say that uh, we remember from some of our theorems in 3.1 here that the, uh, the slope of the tangent line, or m tangent, is actually equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a over h. Um, so that looks good. So in this case, we, we need to use some of what we what we have up here. Um, for us, it's going to be equal to the limit as h goes to 0. And what we want to do is um, basically take, uh, and, and in this case, a is, is actually going to be 1. Um, you know, we can we can we can determine that from up here that a is equal to one, okay? Um, because really we're we're talking about the change in x here. So, so so in this case, what we'll do is we'll take everywhere that the uh, instead instead of instead of a, this will just be rewritten as one and one. I wonder if I can maybe real quick grab an eraser here. Let's see if I can do that. Make this clean up just a little bit. All right, there we go. So pointer help, pen. So this is going to be f of 1 plus h and f of 1. Um, again, as h goes to 0. So in this case, um, we use the original equation we have. We do it for f of 1 and we do it for f of 1 plus h. Um, so let's see if we can figure out how this is going to work. So it's going to be 3, because I have 3 right here, times x, which in our case is f of x is going to be f of 1 plus h. So it's going to be 3 times 1 plus h squared minus 4 times 1 plus h. Okay, um, that all looks good. All right, and then let's maybe go over to the other part here. So I'm going to draw a, the denominator here, which will have h underneath it. All right, and then we're going to subtract f of 1. So then um, that's going to subtract f of 1. So basically now everywhere there's a 1. So 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3. And then 1 times 4 is, well, in this case, kind of a minus 4. Minus 4 times 1 is a minus 4. All right, so we've got. Looks like we've got something we can work with now. Um, we may have to do some some expanding here to figure out, you know, what one plus h is going to do and stuff like that. So I'm going to do a real quick, just kind of on the side here. One plus h times one plus h. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to actually write this into my equation so it becomes real obvious here. So I recommend using a a pencil anytime that you're doing calculus. I'll uh, we'll grab the pen. So it's going to be equal to the limit as h goes to 0. And this time I'm going to write this as 3 times 1 plus h, 1 plus h, times 1 plus h. And then over here, that's going to be squared. Um, minus 4. I'm going to distribute this 4 in now. So this will be 4 times 1 is 4. Um, and you could do it the same way. You could say minus 4 times 1 is uh, minus 4. And minus 4 times h is minus 4h. So minus 4h. 
and then this is a uh, minus three uh, plus four and minus three plus four I can actually combine those even minus three and then minus one times minus four is plus four um, so minus three plus four would be plus one and all of this is going to go over h okay we're looking pretty good this is an equal to the limit as h goes to zero and I'm going to combine some of these terms here now I see this is one times one is one uh, 1 times h is 1h, or h. 1 times h is 1h, or h. And the h squared. Um, so let's see what we get there. So we get a 3 uh, on the outside there. That's going to multiply. I have 1. Well, I'm going to do the h terms first. h times h is h squared. Uh, then I have a 1h, and a 1h is plus 2h. And I have a 1 and a 1. So that's plus 1. Uh, I've got a minus 4 and a plus 1 is a minus 3. So I'm going to do a minus 4h minus 3. Which is starting to look pretty good, I think. Um, all of that's going to go over an h. Okay. You see this is, you know, this is the, the messiness of, the, of doing the derivative with the limit here. Um, and that's going to be equal to the limit as h goes to 0. And now I can distribute the 3 in, which is going to be a 3h squared um, plus 6h plus 3. So that 3 just distributed into all these items here. Minus 4h minus 3. And that's all over h. Which is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of 3h squared is still there. Um, plus 6h minus 4h is plus 2h. You'll notice the plus 3 and the minus 3 kill themselves, so I don't have to worry about those guys. And that's all over h. And I like this a lot because right now, you know, you could go way back and say, well, why don't you just put the 0 in, into this function or the 0 into this function? Well, the problem is I can't put 0 in the denominator. But now I can actually mess with this because there's an h that kills off on each one of these. So this 2 becomes a 1. Uh, this h just goes away and this h just goes away. So this is equal to the limit as h goes to 0. But it's really just 3h plus 2. And in this case, the limit as h goes to 0 of 3h plus 2 is 0 times 3 is, I plug the 0 in, just plug and chug, um, 0 plus 2 is 2. Okay, So that represents the slope of the tangent line, okay, or two. Um, so now we go back to our, our formulas. You know, you either have a point slope form or slope intercept form. You know, um, you may recall this as I, I'm going to write it a little different now. It's going to look similar uh, to the point slope form that you've seen in the past, but now it's going to be y minus f of a equals m tangent times x minus a. Okay, so this would be the the equation for the tangent line in this particular case. Um, now it's worth noting again, uh, a is equal to 1 here, so it's going to be uh, y minus f of a. y minus f of 1 is what we're looking at. On f of 1 Let's see, so if I plug a 1 in here, I get 1 squared times 3 is 3. Uh, 1 times 4 is 4, so it's 3 minus 4 is negative 1. y minus a minus 1 is actually y plus 1 equals m tangent. This was my m tangent right here that we just solved for. So 2 times x minus a, and again x minus a, a equals 1. So now that's going to be equal to um, y plus 1 equals 2x minus 2. Just distributing these in now. Okay. And that's going to be equal to y equals, I should maybe kind of draw these as arrows, y equals 2x minus 2 subtract a 1. It looks like I'm going to get a 2x minus 3. And that's going to be the equation for the tangent line at point 1, 
negative 1. So that's a good example for 3.1 number 18.